Welcome to OFR. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you on how to assemble the Brimnus 4 drawer dresser from IKEA. For this build, you need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a drill, a hammer, a 5 16th inch drill bit, and a pencil. You can also use a Phillips or Posi drive bit to speed up the assembly process. Before you start, I would also recommend keeping all the bits and pieces in their intended bags as mixing them up will just cause more confusion. So the first step is to put the left and right panels into these orientations. Make sure these bigger holes are in this position and the finished edges are facing inwards. Also grab yourself 4CR drawer sliders for the left panel and 4CL drawer sliders for the right panel and 16 small screws that look like this from bag 1. Now go to the left panel and place the 4CR drawer sliders on like this. Then grab 8 screws and secure the 4 CR drawer sliders. The 8 screws will be going into these 8 holes. Now go to the right panel and place the 4 CL drawer sliders on like this. Then grab 8 screws and secure the 4 CL drawer sliders. And again, the 8 screws will be going into these 8 holes. The finished product should look something like this. Next, grab 12 of these screws and screw them into these 12 holes. Again, the end product should look something like this. Now grab this piece of wood and put it in this orientation. Also grab two of these metal braces and four of these screws. Then secure each brace with two screws as shown. Next, grab two more screws and attach the piece you just worked on to the left panel like this. Secure the brace using the two screws. The two screws will be going into these two holes. Now grab this bottom panel that has the four big holes in each corner and four dowels. Hammer the dowels into these four holes. Then attach the bottom to the left panel as shown. Just make sure that the unfinished edge is facing the left side. Now grab two fasteners and secure them into these two holes. Next, grab this piece and four dowels. Hammer in the dowels into these four holes. Then attach the piece you just worked on to the left panel like this. Now grab these four panels and put them into this orientation. Also grab 16 dowels. Each panel will get 4 dowels. Hammer them into these 4 holes. It's going to look something like this. Also, do the same to the other 3 panels.
Now attach each panel on like this. Then grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Next you'll be attaching the right panel on like this. Now grab six fasteners and secure them into these six holes. Then grab two of these screws and screw them into these two holes. Next, grab the top panel and put in this orientation. The small holes for the bracket should be in this position. Then from the wall hardware bag, grab two brackets, two washers, and two small screws. Then place the brackets on like this and put the screw through the washer. Then secure the screw in the washer into the small hole. You don't have to screw it in all the way though. Next, grab four of these screws and screw them into these four holes. Then go to the top of the dresser with four dowels. Hammer in the four dowels into these four holes. Now attach the top panel on like this. Then grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Next, grab six scratch guards and hammer them into these six spots. Then flip the dresser onto its feet and put it against your intended wall. Now grab the wall hardware and secure the dresser to drywall. I've done these next steps already, so in the description, I'll leave a timestamp with a link to another video that shows you how to secure IKEA furniture to drywall using the same brackets. After securing this IKEA dresser to the wall, grab this metal piece and two screws. Then screw the two screws into these two holes, but make sure that you don't screw them all the way in. Then slide the metal piece in like this and secure it by tightening both screws.
Now let's focus on the four drawers. Grab the front drawer piece that has the glass in the middle and put in this orientation. Also grab four of these screws from bag two and screw them into these four holes. Then grab the two side panels and put them into this orientation. The left side drawer panel should have a warning sticker on it. Also make sure the inside edge is more flat than the outside edge of each panel. Then grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Now attach each side drawer piece on like this. Next grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Then grab the bottom of the drawer and place it on like this. Next, grab the back of the drawer and place it on as shown. Then grab four plastic pins and hammer them into these four holes. Now grab two rubber bumpers and stick them on like this. Next, flip the drawer over as shown. Then grab the corresponding drawer sliders that are marked DL and DR and also grab four of these screws. Now go to the left side and attach the drawer slider that is marked with the DL like this. Then secure it using the two screws. The two screws will be going into these two holes. Then repeat the same step for the DR drawer slider on the right side of the drawer. Now grab two small pointy screws and this metal support. So first screw in one screw into this hole, but not all the way in. Then attach this end of the support like this and turn it 180 degrees. Now with the other screw, screw it into this hole to secure the support. Next flip the drawer over as shown and grab one wooden handle and two of these screws. Then secure the handle to the front of the drawer using the two screws. Now repeat all the steps related to the drawers three more times. Don't worry that the other pieces don't have either the glass in the middle or a warning sticker. They are all put together the same way. So after finishing off the drawers, put the one with the glass on the very top. Then put the other three in any order you want. Now check that they open and close relatively smoothly. If you followed all these steps, you shouldn't have any issues. You should now have a fully assembled Rimness 4-drawer dresser from IKEA. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.